We had a question come in from one of our viewers, and I would love to, to not only hear what our panel has to say, but from what you guys have to say uh, about this question. Hello, my name is Najib Tawid, and I'm from Beirut, Lebanon. In this modern age, how can I tell what is truly God's word and not just background noise or even my self-doubt? I know God has a plan for me, and I live with that trust. But God also gave me brains to think and analyze so I can better serve him. How can I know what is the right thing for me to do? How can we distinguish God's will from the background noise of the world? David. Um, that around me when I was a little kid, um, I was so sick that I went to the hospital many times. And I think I was six or seven. And that little kid, remember the primary songs. And some nights when I would hear other Christians crying, right, or I felt alone, those songs came to my mind, right? Especially I'm a, I'm a son of God. And I was saying to myself, at that age, I learned that the communication is always. And to answer that question, I wanna use it as an example, a radio frequency, right? It's not like when I wanna talk to God, I just, well, what's the frequency again? But it's like, if I keep that same frequency all the time, then the noises in the background are not as loud because I'm in the frequency with, with him. I love the way uh, David was saying there about it's, it's a constant communication. It's not like a start and stop. Terrell, uh, you had mentioned a little bit about uh, the word uh, to commune. Uh, can you uh, explain a little more about what that really looks like? Yeah, let me, let me give an example. I was at a, a Sacred Spaces conference a few years ago, and there was a Jewish scholar, uh, an Orthodox Jew, and I, I, uh, during a break, I wanted to get to know him. And so I, I saw that he had removed himself a little ways from the crowd uh, and stepped outside. And, I, and as I was approaching to converse with him, I saw that, that he was in the midst of, of a prayer. He was chanting. Uh, presumably, he was reciting a psalm. And I remember being struck by the fact that it was a public place, it was the middle of campus, it was the middle of the day, and he had created this environment for himself. I think we need to create a sacred space at some time during the day where we prepare the ground so that if, uh, if God has something to communicate to us, we're available so that we actually anticipate the possibility of a response anytime that we are engaging in communion.